Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today is class 20 of our 30 day hero journey through yoga. Today's theme is something that we see in many stories through history, through storytelling, through uh, mythology. It is uh, an archetypal uh, story that is all imprinted in our uh, psyche and its resurrection. We see it in uh, Lord of the Rings, for example, Gandalf the Grey, when he faced Balrog and he has to die in order for him to let go of certain parts of his old self and for a new beginning, a new self to emerge. Usually the end of something, always the end of something is the beginning of the new. So something has to die in order for something to be born. In Star Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi has to die fighting Darth Vader so that he has to, he can be reborn into his new, um, more evolved self. We have to die to our past ego self in order to be reborn and in order to evolve. And um, even in the story of Christ, there is resurrection. Resurrection is a common theme that is imprinted in our psyche and it's an archetypal theme and it's one that is very important in us evolving. So uh, today's class is going to be therapeutic. We're going to take it easy. If you have a bolster, of course, grab your bolster. But if you don't have a bolster, grab either a really thick pillow or a couple of pillows for stacking or probably two blankets, one to two blankets uh, rolled tightly and have them be a little bigger so that we can use that height. With pillows you will need maybe even three pillows so it gives you enough height uh, in order to use it but everybody has a blanket or a pillow so use that. So are you ready to flow with strength and ease? begin in child's pose so bring your bolster towards you open the knees and you can bring the bolster in here find length through the spine and lower down either forehead onto the the bolster or onto the pillows you can bring your hands under or you can bring your hands by your side And here we're going to inhale the hands underneath us, press yourself up, bring your pillow across or bolster and we're going to bring the elbows onto, onto the bolster. Come on to the knees now and just lower down gently here, stretching the shoulders. 
I'm resting my forehead on the bolster, but you don't have to, just stretching the shoulders here. Breathe into the back of your body. Focus on your breath and focus on your third eye. Taking inhalation, exhalations through the third eye, so to speak. Great, slowly press back towards your hips and come up we're going to sit down and bring the pillows or bolster underneath the knees lay down and bring the soles of the feet together so now the bolster is suppo supporting your legs and you can relax here very rejuvenating for the hormonal system. Lay and let go, trusting the support of the bolster. It's supporting your weight, supporting your body so that you can completely relax and stretch. Keep the back wide. Envision the tension leaving your body. Exhaling through the entire backside of the body. Imagine your breath exiting through each and every cell through the backside of the body. And tension leaving the body going back into the earth. Exhaling tension, softening, becoming heavy. Exhaling through the back side of the body. No longer a 
resisting, but rather letting go, allowing certain parts of you to be renewed. Because we let them go, we allow them to die so the new can become the new day, the current day, the present. When we come to completion, to an end, this is always the beginning of something new. So we are allowing completion by letting go. Let's bring the hands on the sides of the legs, on the thighs, on the outside and gently bring your knees up with the help of your hands. Here you're gonna step on your feet, lift your hips and bring the pillow or bolster underneath your pelvis, underneath the base of the spine, the base of the tailbone. And you're going to extend only the right leg, keep the left foot on the floor, left knee bent. Feel that stretch through your hip flexor here. You can allow your arms to rest on the side. back of the head is wide, on the floor, shoulders down, relaxed, away from the ears. softening into this gentle stretch listening to the sound of your breath like the sound of the ocean each wave rinsing away the old and allowing for the new creating space for the new that which is old and we no longer need it. And you're gonna 
extend both legs here. See how that feels. being aware of the sensations throughout your body. The areas that are softening, the areas that are stretching. Feeling expansion in the heart area. Beautiful. And let's bend both knees, lifting your hips gently and removing the bolster from under the knees, under the hips. Bring your bolster to your left side. And let's extend the right leg out. Bring your left knee and calf onto the bolster to the side, allowing for a stretch here in the inner thigh. Gently switching sides. Adjust it to your need and liking and body preference. Softening the inner thigh as you exhale. Maybe <sighs> going deeper and deeper into that place of relaxation. Visualizing each inhalation is renewing energy that's rinsing and moving through all your cells, one cell at a time, renewing them, renewing our energy on cell
cellular level, our tissues on cellular level. Using the breath as our tool to renew, to be reborn. from the shoulders, the space between the collarbones, the jaw. Letting go. Great. And you can lift your leg. Here we're gonna roll onto one side. onto the belly and let's bring the left knee onto the bolster hands underneath the forehead laying on the belly and allowing the hip the inner thigh to further open here And let's move over to the other side. Softening, letting go. Listening to the sound of your breath. Great. And slowly coming out of this, we're going to finish off with some stretching. So bring the bolster to your left hip and bring bending the left knee. See if you can bring the right knee into your foot. If this is too intense, you can just bring them together or stack the legs on top of each other otherwise you can 
bring the right knee into the left foot and now twist towards your bolster see how that feels if if this is too intense then you're going to bring the right knee in so experiment and see how this feels this is really detoxifying so bringing the belly towards the bolster rest it on the bolster and either bring your forehead to the bolster you can look over towards your left knee or for complete twist you can turn the head towards your left shoulder so away from the knees and that is a complete twist take it at your level here and yield ease into this feel the spine twisting and most of us have irregularities in the spine actually all of us there is no perfect spine as there is no straight tree in nature no straight flower stems or roads really you'll never see a straight road path in nature so same goes for our spines they're like trees there is always a little imperfection in each and every one of us and here we can just bring things a little more back to balance by holding this and if one of the sides feels very 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 different than the other you can give one side a little extra time use your breath here as your tool to rebalance the spine we're also detoxifying the stomach and intestines and liver Is 
asymmetry, asymmetry. <sighs> in your body, there is no symmetry in nature, there is no perfection. Perfection is actually part of the asymmetrical design. Even the most perfect leaf, there is always a little bit of character to it. So don't worry about it. Just keep breathing, keep deepening the breath. Keep softening, keep expanding your mind through the breath, through deepening. Feel the spine here. There's quite a bit of work right now happening. It is realigning. Keep the length here. If you have to come up a little bit, lengthen to the crown of the head and lower down with that length preserved. So here we're going to step the left foot towards the top of the very front of the bolster and bring the right hip onto the bolster and lower down here. Keep your left knee into your shoulder and you can lower or you can stay up here, rest in your hip. We're gonna hold this one for a little less time. So just breathe into the areas that are stretching. Great, and 
opposite side. Resting, resting the pelvis onto the prop that you're using. Try not to open the knee too much. If you do open it, then flex the foot. foreclosure <sighs> one of them you can do right before bed and the other if you wanna wake up a little bit so we'll start with the one right before bed you can either reverse the order of them or just <sighs> or just do them both and calm down so this one is perfect for right before bed the next one will kind of bring you it won't wake you up but it won't completely <laughs> put you to sleep so this one is perfect for right before bed and you're going to bring the bolster underneath your knees straighten the spine and lower down here you will use your hands as a prop here to do a forward bend. Keep the length of the spine. Keep the breath going. and feel free to stay in the same pose if you're gonna go to bed <sighs> otherwise we're gonna do a gently awakening pose it's not awakening in the sense that you're gonna be coffee cup awakened but it will bring your awareness a little more into this room so bring the bolster all the way press it towards the tailbone and then lay down on it with the chest here opening and the shoulders dropping this is a little more invigorating we're opening the front side of the body so so the feet can be together otherwise you can extend the legs forward and just 
allow your chest to open this is very good for correcting poor posture otherwise stay in the previous pose and go deeper into the sleepiness the relaxation Breathing into the heart center and feeling that area expanding, opening, free. Bring more freedom into that area, melting the armor. Oftentimes we create armor around the heart for protection, for protecting our emotions from trauma, and it takes conscious work breathing to soften up to open up that area to work the tissue to work the connective tissue Feel free to stay here longer, otherwise you can bring your hands on the outside of the legs so that you can gently lift up the knees, straighten or bring the legs up and you can roll out of this gently. Whenever you're ready, stay longer if you need to and Thank you so much for joining me for this very relaxing. <laughs> I can't even wake up right now for this very relaxing class. And I hope that you will have a really, really chill end of the day. And I'll see you tomorrow with our next class. Thank you again. Remember to flow with strength and ease and let me know what part of you you would like to let go to see die so that you can make room for something very new very fresh an expansion of you so let me know what is the part that is no longer serving you and what would you like to cultivate or to see the beginning of next all right namaste remember to flow with strength and ease